Hi guys, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel, and welcome back to the Mod Organizer for Fallout New Vegas series. This video will be covering a short but crucial step to making your game more stable. We'll show you how to use FNV Edit to clean dirty edits from your game's master files and some select downloaded mods. If you have not seen my video on how to install FNV Edit, click on the thumbnail shown here to view it now. So let's get to work and go to the desktop. All right, here we go. Now you may be asking yourself, why do I need to clean my mods? Why do I need to clean the master files? And here's the reason why. Bethesda, and in this case Obsidian, does a really poor job of cleaning their files. Uh, they leave a lot of dirty edits. They uh, just cause problems for us as modders. Now the game will run perfectly fine. I mean, if you're running a vanilla Fallout New Vegas, it's going to run fine. It's going to do a good job. But the problem is, once you start modding your game and you add more and more mods to it, it's going to create problems. And those dirty edits will cause crashes and other instabilities. So you need to go through and clean them up. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you're going to need to have your mod organizer. Now, it is going to require that you have loot, and it's going to require that you have FNV edit. If you need to see those videos on how to install those for a mod organizer. I have one from an earlier episode in this series, and you can see them. Now you can see we have a bunch of mods here. We have, you know, all the unmanaged mods. Basically, these are the game files that were provided with you when you have the game, then you start having all your mods. And you can see I have a few. You know, you may have seen in previous episodes that I went through and ran loot. Loot is going to be an important tool to tell you what needs cleaning. So go ahead and run loot now. We'll take a look at it and you'll see what I'm talking about. I have loot ready to go. Loot Fallout New Vegas ready to go. Sort plugins. Okay, we already have it ready to go. Now we are not going to apply anything. We're just going to hit cancel because we want the report more than anything else. All right, now we, you can see we have dirty plugins, total plugins, errors, warnings, all this stuff. What we're looking for is the details and you can actually see what needs to be cleaned. You know, obviously, falloutnewvegas.esm, never clean this. Never, 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 never touch it. This is the main file. Don't clean this, all right? Dead Money, 403 identical to Masters, and 51 UDRs. Honest Hearts, 121 and 10. Old World Blues, just 124 ITMs. All right, and you go farther and farther down. You can go through this whole list. Now, certain mods may be fine and they were not going to have any errors okay you go farther down my list and it's just the short list you're going to come across project nevada rebalance complete right contains 22 itm records right it recommends clean with fnv edit and that's what we're doing here and you go farther down verts wasteland floral overhaul warning do not clean udr records from this mod otherwise the game will crash on startup Right? We'll take a look at that and see if it has any ITMs that need cleaning. But we can go ahead and, you know, show you that. Not a big deal. But you, now you have a kind of a summary of what you need to be cleaning. Right? That's why Loot's a really good tool to have. So we'll just go ahead and close that down. And close that down. We're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is open FNV Edit. You know, I have mine on the toolbar right here. But if you wanted to use the drop down menu, FNV Edit right there and you hit run. It's going to give you all your masters and all your ESPs and these are all the ones that were selected in your uh, priority list over here and in your plugins and you can see all of them right here. Now the first thing you want to do is to right click anywhere on this field and you're going to collect none. Now here's the order. Remember we don't ever want to touch. Do not touch falloutnewvegas.esm. Never touch that. I want you to double click on dead money. It's going to start loading this up and it will automatically load its masters. Simple stuff. Backload loader is finished. So we're ready to go. I want you to go ahead and you can take a look at this if you wanted to see everything that's in it, but you don't really need to. I want you to right click on deadmoney.esm and we're going to apply filter for cleaning. Hit that and it's going to run some stuff and it's going to basically tell you it should be done. Okay. Process that many records. And you're going to right click on it again. 
and we are going to go down and remove identical to master records. This is the first step. So we're going to hit remove identical to master records. And it's going to give you a warning and it says, okay, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. Just do it. Now identical to records done. Process records 40,888. Remove records 403. Okay. That's step one. Step two. We are now going to undelete and disable references. This is the UDRs. Okay. So undelete and disable references. And it is done. Process records, undeleted records 51. Elapsed time 1 second. Now that that file is now clean, I want you to close this. And you will see you have deadmoney.esm. It is the only file that's up here. And this is all you want to see. If you see anything else here, uncheck everything that's here, close it, and start over. Don't, don't clean stuff don't have anything extra you only want dead money because it's the only one we're cleaning and then you want to come down here and, and back up plugins and you hit OK now what it has done it is now clean that file we're going to run loot again just to be sure we hit cancel and we go to details Dead money no longer has any errors. So you know it's been cleaned properly. Right? Go and close that. Close that. What have we done? Now you have a warning up here. It says something's in the overwrite. Because remember we created a backup. Even if you don't create a backup, it will drop this in the overwrite. Don't worry about that too much because we're going to go in and take a look at it. Right? FNV edit backups. Dead money ESN backup. There it is. Go ahead and just close that window, and I want you to right click on it, create a mod. We're going to go FNV Edit Backups. We want to have a backup for all this stuff. Now we've created a file that has FNV Edit. You can put it up top here. We won't, won't ever be you know, activating this. This is just a file so we can put all those backups into something. If you double click on it, go to your file tree, FNV edit backups, deadmoney.esn backup. Okay, does that make sense? There you go. And close that. So now we have a place for all those backups if you need them. Now, now we've cleaned dead money, we now go back into FNV edit, and this is, you do this every single time. You've got your file list, right click, select none. And we go to Honest Hearts. Double click. It's going to process more files. And there it is. There it is. The required masters, Honest Hearts. Do the same thing. Right click. Apply filter for cleaning. Right click. Remove identical to master records. We're going to ask again. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Fine. Yes, I'm sure. There we go. Second step. Undelete and disable references. We let it do its thing. You see now we've undeleted some records. Now, just for you know information's sake, ITMs cause less problems than UDRs. They just do. But that's why we're going through and cleaning all this stuff. We're now ready to close it. Honesthearts.esm, the only one clicked. Backup plugins, okay. And it'll close it down. And we have something in our override again. Open that up. You can see FNV Edit Backups. Open this up. Honesthearts.esm. Drop it in there. Now we can delete that. It's an empty file. There we go. Now if we go back into this. File tree. FNV Edit Backups. Now you have two backups. Simple stuff, right? Okay. You're going to go through. FMV edit and do the same thing for Old World Blues, then Lonesome Road, Gunrunners, Arsenal. Right? The rest of them are okay. Right? We checked it with uh, loot. We know what we're doing. We're going to go back in through. We can go ahead and just close this. We don't need it. It's going to say we put something in our overwrite. We'll just go and delete that. Every time you open FMV edit, 
it'll want to drop something in your override. It'll just be empty file. Okay, but it's always creating backups. Open up Loot, and we'll take one more look and see what we should be doing. All right, cancel. Details. All right, now we have dead money and all those hearts are cleaned. We'll go back through and do Old World Blues, Lonesome Road, and Gunrunners. But I want to go ahead and show you about Project Nevada Rebalance Complete. Okay, we're going to clean this one. This is an actual mod. This is not a Bethesda file. All right. This is an actual mod. We want to go ahead and clean this. Contains 22 ITM records. Clean with FNV edit. Okay. Close that down again. And we will go ahead and run it one more time. Okay. And we go ahead and right click, select none. And we are looking for Project Nevada, Project Nevada Rebalance Complete. Project Nevada Rebalance Complete. There it is right there. Double click on that. Remember, this is the one that needs to be cleaned. Double click on it. It's going to load a bunch of stuff. And it's going to give you all of the masters. But we're only after the rebalance complete. I want you to right click on it. Apply filter for cleaning. It's all processed, ready to go. And we're going to right click it again. Remove identical to masters. Hang on. Don't do that. Don't be doing extra stuff on me here. Remove identical masters. Yes, are you sure? I'm absolutely sure. The difference is that we have now, go ahead and clean this up, removed identical to records, remove records 22. Right? We could go ahead and check to see if there's any undeleted and disabled references. There are none. See, zero. Okay, Lou was pretty accurate on that. I want you to go ahead and close this down. It's going to open a window. Okay, Project Nevada Rebounds Complete. I'm going to untick the backup plugins. I don't really need a backup plugin for this. You know, you could if you wanted to, but you could just reinstall the mod. It would put it all back to normal, right? You don't need to worry about it too much. So I'm going to hit OK. I don't want to back up this plugin. It's just not necessary in my point, in my opinion. Hit OK. There's going to be something in our override. It's going to be empty. Okay, there's nothing there. Go ahead and just delete that. Yes. That's it. So let's go ahead and double check. And we had, we cleaned that plugin. Let's just double check to make sure it did, did the job right. Check our report. Let's scroll down. Project Nevada rebalance complete. Where was it? It's hard to find. There it is. Without the big yellow marker, I couldn't know where it was fine. So that's Project Nevada rebalance complete. It's clean. I'm going to go through and do the same thing with verts, okay? But uh, remember, we're not going to look for any UDRs. We're going to do the UDRs. We'll just do that last, all right? Close that down. Close that down. F and V edit one more time. Right click. Select none. And we're going to go down and look for verts. Open that up. And we're going to right click, apply filter for cleaning. And we are going to only do remove identical to masters. Okay? We are not going to be undeleting, disabling references. Just remove identical records, masters. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm not even sure we're going to have anything. We'll find out. It's always a surprise. You never know what you're going to get. Process records, remove records 356. So it had a bunch of ITMs in there, but it didn't have, you don't want to delete any UDRs. Okay? Just remove the ITMs. Right? That's good. We'll go ahead and close that. Remember, we're going to leave that clicked. We're not going to back up the plugin. Hit OK. Something in our override again. Just go look. We know there's nothing there. We can just delete it. Boom. Done. Over. So let's just tech loot to make sure make sure it's all clean. We'll have to go back and clean the other ones later, but you you know, it's repetition. You don't need to be seeing that. So we are now clean and ready to go. Whoop. Okay, do not clean UDRs. We didn't clean the UDRs. We only cleaned the ITMs. And that's fine. We're gonna leave that that warning there. Because we already know we cleaned the ITMs. We did not clean the UDRs. And that's it. You know, it's 
The process is basically the same, but you're going to use loot as the tool to tell you what there is problems. And it's always worthwhile to read the mods that you have. In other words, go through, read all the uh, documentation with it, and they may tell you about different problems that you, know, you don't want to clean. Right? That's why it's worthwhile knowing what your mod does. Always read the readmes, always read the descriptions, go through some of the posts, and see if there's any reference to cleaning the mod. That's always a worthwhile thing to do. So that's it. This uh, tutorial's over. It's a quick one, but it is an important one. And as we get more and more mods, you'll need to clean them all up and make sure they all work well together. Now, this does not cover merging mods. This does not cover a merge patch. Those are all later on. But we just want to clean them up so we have more stability in our game and less crashes with the basic setups. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off. <laughs>